Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Ben Reacts to Eurovision. And today I'm going to react to first rehearsals. My name is Ben, I'm a musician and composer, and I'm currently reacting to the Eurovision 2021 Song Contest. If you are new here, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and ding that notification bell if you want to get notified the next time I upload one of these videos. But now, let's react to first rehearsals. Let's do this. But you know what? Let's do this differently. I will not react to these rehearsals in the way you might expect from me, because showing rehearsals is stupid. The EBU should not show any rehearsals at all, because they are rehearsals. Rehearsals are there to practice, to tech checks, identify performance issues and fixing them, and to give the artist a better feel of the stage. Practice and rehearsals are not to be seen by the public. When was the last time you actually watched a rehearsal of your favorite artist? Or you watched a rehearsal of a theater play? Or of a classical concert? Or even a circus performance? No, that's not a thing. Rehearsals are meant for the people who need to rehearse. Artists, technicians, producers maybe, maybe even the stylists to see if any clothing changes need to be done in order to provide a better performance. Choreographers, dancers, these need to watch rehearsals. We as an audience do not need to watch rehearsals at all. When I remember a few years back when I had my band, I always felt extremely uncomfortable if any of my band members got a visitor in the rehearsal room. Because rehearsals are kind of a private thing for an artist. And as an artist, you don't want anybody else to see your fuck-ups or your vulnerable moments. And most likely worse quality than the end product would ever be. So EBU, what's wrong with you? Showing rehearsals may ruin the surprise. Best example, Russia. I don't want to know how much work went into Manija's dress or in the beautifully animated background. And now it's out there for the world to see in the worst possible quality. The sound is shit, the video is shit, nobody should have seen this. Showing off these rehearsals might even tamper with the actual performances if the public starts to get a say in it. I mean, do you really think that YouTube comments, and there are a lot of them, don't have any impact on what the delegations have prepared for their songs? I can assure you that there is some poor intern sitting in front of a computer all day long, analyzing those comments, writing down notes and passing them on to the delegation to discuss. So instead of concentrating on the actual performance and rehearsing the actual performance, you are starting to second guess your decisions. And this should not be put on any artist one week before the show. Additionally, you might paint a wrong picture of the artist in public. Perfect example, Ireland. According to their rehearsal video, Leslie can't fucking sing live. Can you imagine what that does to the confidence of an artist? And even though you might forget it in a couple of months, the internet doesn't. Once this shit is up there, it remains up there forever. So congratulations, EDU. Well done. And finally, showing off these rehearsals might actually have a financial effect on some people. I personally do not bet on anything. It's not my thing. But some people do, and because of their rehearsal video, Malta has just lost their 10-week number one spot in the odds of winning the Eurovision Song Contest. 19% before, 16% after. So congratulations, EBU. You just cost some people money. Again, I'm not a betting person, but I understand that other people are. Now imagine you have a horse race coming up and the race organizer has decided to publish the dietary plan for the horses and the jockeys five minutes before the fucking race. What is wrong with you, EBU? These rehearsals should not have been published. I would love for the EBU to stop publishing them. And now I think my rant is over. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to support me and my channel further, there is a link to buymeacoffee.com slash bencristina in the description. I would appreciate if you would just get me a coffee because I do love coffee. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and ding that notification bell if you want to get notified the next time I upload one of these videos. The next time I promise a proper reaction video. Wishing you all the best. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Ben, <gasps> to your vision.